Hello everyone. After long waiting, at last I managed to find a time to record matrices part 2. In this video, you are going to learn how to add and subtract matrices. Let us look at example 1. Diagram below shows the sales of handphones in Sina Enterprise. A represent the total sales of handphones for each brand in March and April in the form of metric. Let us represent metric M as the sales of the handphones in March. So don't forget, write the bracket. Inside the bracket, we write 15, 13, 20. Now, I represent metric A as the sales of the handphones in April. So again, we draw the bracket and we fill in the number 20, 15 and 25. B. Find the total sales in March and April. To find the total sales in March and April, we must add metric M and metric A. So, this is metric M plus metric A. How to add it? First, you find the corresponding element. So this is corresponding element, first row, first column. So you add the corresponding element. First one is 15 plus 20. The second corresponding element is 13 and 15 because both element at first row, second column. And the corresponding element is 20 and 25. You will obtain metric 35, 28, and 45. Don't forget, draw the bracket. You also can write the bracket like this. Not all the metric we can add or subtract. So in this part, we are going to learn to determine whether addition and subtraction can be performed on the following pair of matrices. A. This matrix is 2 by 3 because 2 row, 3 column. Matrix B is 2 by 3. Two. So can add or subtract or not? No, because matrix A and matrix B have different order. Now we look at B. Matrix P, the order is 3 by 1. 3 row, 1 column. Matrix Q, the order is 1 by 3. So can we add or subtract these two matrices? Of course, no, because matrix P and matrix Q also have different orders. Now we look at C, matrix K equals negative 5, 9. The order of the matrix is 2 by 1. Matrix L, the order of the matrix also 2 by 1. So can add or subtract or not? Yes, because matrix K and matrix L have the same order. 
Now let us look at example 3. It is given that metric A, metric B and metric C. Calculate metric A plus metric B. A. We copy down metric A to negative 4, 7, 3, 5, negative 1. Plus metric B. Three negative five negative two one negative ten one again we find the corresponding element first row first column here also first row first column two plus three First row, second column, plus the first row, second column. Negative 4 plus negative 5. Next is 7 plus negative 2. Three plus one. Five plus negative ten. Negative one plus one. So, what is your answer? 5, negative 9, 5, 4, negative 5, and 0. B. Metric A minus metric B plus metric C. Then we add and subtract the corresponding element so 2 minus 3 plus add the next one negative 4 minus negative 5 plus negative 6 7 minus negative 2 plus 9. 3 minus 1 plus 2. Five minus negative ten plus negative seven. Two minus three plus eight, we obtain seven. Negative 4, for this one we open the bracket, negative 4 plus 5 minus 6. The next one, negative, negative, positive, so 7 plus 2 plus 9.
3 minus 1 plus 2 equals 4. Five plus ten minus seven negative one minus one plus six equals four so the final answer is seven negative five 18. Four. Add. And four. After we learn how to add and subtract the matrices, now we look at Example 4, given that metric P, metric Q, and metric P plus Q equal 9, 20, 18, 12. Calculate the value of S and Y. So we write in equation. So still remember, we need to find the corresponding element to add. So 2s minus 3 plus s. The next one, 15 plus 5. Eleven plus seven. Four plus y plus y. Equals nine twenty. 18, 12. Okay, so now 3s minus 3 20 18 4 plus 2y equals 9, 20, 18, 12. So again, we compare the corresponding element. 3s minus 3 equals 9. So we write out 3s minus 3 equals 9. And we solve the linear equation. 3s equals 9 plus 3. 3s equals 12. S equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now we want to find the value of Y. So corresponding element is 4 plus 2Y equals 12. We write the equation and we solve it. 2y equals 12 minus 4. 2y equals at y equals at divided by 2 is 
four. Okay, now we do one more question. Given that h plus 15 negative 2 minus 8 9 equals negative 1 6. Calculate metric h. So this one something like linear equation. You move over this one and this one. Okay, left h at the left hand side. So h equals negative 1, 6. Okay, so positive will become negative. So minus 15, negative 2. And opposite of negative is positive. So plus add 9. Now again, we try to solve it. Negative 1 minus 15 plus 8. Second row, 6 minus negative 2 plus 9. Equals negative 8. 6 plus 9, 6 plus 2 plus 9 is 17. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy learning through my video. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget, click the bell so that you can receive the latest notification. See you.